Hello, everyone. You're watching me and I'm watching you. All right. Just a little fun. Come on, give me a break. Welcome to Sweet Home Arizona. It is time. Drum roll, please. And I was really paranoid. Like, I don't know why uh, when I asked this question and even put it in the thumbnail over at Sweet Home Maricopa Redux, the question being, oh, Q versus QAnon. I know so little I can't even ask an intelligent question. <laughs> you like my phrase? It's an intelligent question about not being able to ask an intelligent question or, or an intelligent statement. Never mind. Sorry. I'm just reveling in my own intelligence, I guess, or lack thereof. Uh, so when I posted a couple videos over at Sweet Home Maricopa about QAnon and saying, stay away from QAnon, uh, glancing through the comments, I was like, clearly you don't know what the heck you're talking about. And there's something called Gelman's amnesia, right? Gelman's, Gelman's uh, amnesia. Uh, the principle is, and I've said this on other, in other videos, so if this is, you've already heard this, forgive me. Gelman's, Gelman's amnesia theory is, say you're an expert in something, or say you grew up playing a particular sport, and you read an article about that sport from someone that's not as, as well-informed as you are. Maybe that's a bad analogy. People know sports. But you're an expert at something and you read an article and anything that they have wrong in that article, you're going to see it because you are an expert or at least have a greater, uh, an above average knowledge of that area, whatever you have. But then when you move on to the next article and what you're reading that you're not an expert in and you don't have as much experience in, you're just not going to see where they're wrong you are going to assume that everything you're reading is right, even though you just saw some misinformation in a previous article that you had more. So Gelman's amnesia. So here I am, admittedly didn't, you know, didn't dive deep into the QAnon rabbit hole, just got a cursory idea. It's like, oh, okay, there's this idea that for decades, there's this underground movement going on behind the scenes and that, you know, everything is under control and, you know, just wait, this is going to lead to that. And it's like, okay, there's all these different branches, things you can go pursue and who can you listen to? And that's part and parcel of the problem, right? The good thing about this device, you know, well, this new reality where we can get information from anywhere at any time, right? This good side of it and the bad side of it. The good side of it is now the truth is available to everyone. The bad side is <laughs> how the heck do you determine what the truth is? Who do you listen to? Right? So I appreciate any of you listening to me because uh, a lot of people um, say it's your sincerity. Right? That's kind of a recurring theme in my life that when I talk, I'm not scripted here. I don't have an agenda. I'm not like a plant. Like I'm just... <laughs> You know, I may be an actor, but I'm not acting when I turn on this camera. Here we go. Let's dive in to your answers. Q versus QAnon. What the heck is going on? I expect to be uh, more informed here and educated. I did read the first two comments. Uh, that's as far as I've read. And I'm a little curious why YouTube puts this particular comment first. This first comment I'm going to read has 21 thumbs ups, 21 thumbs ups, and zero replies. The second comment has 50 thumbs up and nine replies. I don't understand YouTube's algorithm, why it puts one above the other. But maybe, I don't know, let's just read. Maybe maybe YouTube thinks that uh, Joe Weedhopper deserves the number one spot over Kim Griffith. So Joe Weedhopper, here's the response. Future proves fa uh, future proves past. The information is like breadcrumbs that makes you do some research. An anon, A-N-O-N, seems to ask the questions, and Q leaves the breadcrumbs. Q plus is the big guy, exclamation point. Q plus is Joe Biden? I'm confused. Q plus is the big guy. I thought the big guy was Joe Biden. <laughs> Okay, it's a little Hunter Biden laptop humor. <laughs> All right. There's no no response. I have no response. I, okay. I don't know. I don't know how to respond to what he's saying. 
But Kim Griffith seems to get a lot of traction here. So let's read QAnon, except she spells it Q-A-N-N-O-N. QAnon does not exist. Interesting. She goes on. Q is an awakening project that accomplish, accomplishes its goal through asking questions and inspiring research. Okay, I'm going to kind of break down this comment. Q is an awakening project. Okay. Uh, a person that started a project, right? Driven by somebody or a group. Okay, but there's no details here. It's just a project. This is an extremely limited posting site and is only... Okay, let me start from the beginning. QAnon does not exist. Q is an awakening project that accomplishes its goal through asking questions and inspiring research. This is an extremely limited posting site and is only, and is only public view. Uh, grammar problems, so I'm not clear on what's being said. Uh, I guess I'm assuming Q's site, a site where Q was based is slash was an extremely limited posting site and is only public view. I don't know what that means, is only public view. I don't understand that. The research board, which links to this, is public access and anyone can post until the maximum allowed space is used. Okay, there's a research board. So it sounds like, I mean, it's come, it's being explained as kind of a thought out, planned, organized thing, All right? A research board, which links to this public access and anyone can, anyone can post until the maximum allowed space is used. I have no idea what that means. Like the maximum allowed space for what? And then th that thing goes away. Okay. I know it's, I'm sorry. Then the posting board becomes read-only. Got it. Okay, so people can post and respond, and then it just becomes read-only, and then it, a new thing starts. I don't, sorry, I'm just asking questions and probably won't get answers. An anon is a person that assists in guiding persons in research. Got it. Got it. Like a, a guide, a tutor, a mentor, or somebody. Uh, the guidance does not lead to a conclusion only information that's good that's a, that's a good assistant right it's like an assistant a teacher's assistant it is up to each person to find their own way and come to their own conclusions which is uh, I think the most powerful form of persuasion like my degree is in communication and the most powerful form of persuasion is answering certain questions but not giving conclusions right like you you help them to get on their journey, but they need to come to the conclusions themselves, not actually giving them the conclusions. It, when done properly, there's always manipulation that can happen. Okay, uh, that okay, that's informative. That's stuff I didn't know. Well, yeah, pretty much that structure I didn't know. There's details, obviously, I have a lot of questions, but it kind of makes sense. Uh, it's like a an education forum uh, where you can search on the internet or research subject matter Nothing specific here. Nothing, no specific subject matter. All right. Let's read the comments to Kim Griffin. Griffith. Mona Bale. Bingo! Exclamation point. Okay. Kentucky Patriot Semper Fi. We have a winner. Definitely over the target. WWG1WGA. God bless. And I actually didn't know what that meant uh, until yesterday. WWG1WGA. Here I am exposing my ignorance. I didn't know where we go one, we go all, which is a, you know, a nice rallying call. You know, if you have a, a virtuous mission, right? If you have a virtuous mission, that is absolutely something you should agree to. If you have a virtuous mission, right? It's all up you know, uh, Missy Stevens says, I would have to agree with Kim's analogy on this. Was there an analogy up there? Or, or explanation? I don't know. Boyd Bear says, spot on, except for the spelling of anon or anon. 
uh, one and not two. The importance being that anon is short for anonymous. Cap captain. Q is the shorted, the shorted phrase. Q is the shorted phrase for Q anonymous. Q anonymous team of military patriot personnel who have Q17 level clearance, top secret intel clearance. Okay, uh, that I've seen that number 17 glance through the comments. Okay, that's seven, Q17 level clearance. Uh, this is an assertion, a person making an assertion. I have no idea how this could be verified to me. Like, I don't know. That's the assertion. If that's true, how will I know that? Uh, Jay Osborne. Kim, great exclam Kim, great explanation, exclamation point. I have not understood for weeks. Now I get it. Thanks. John Beasley. We need to add that Q was all about symbols, both those used by our masters and those available to the resistance. The masters adopt the language and symbols of the resistance as, for example, calling themselves the resistance to Trump. Okay, so uh, what I'm seeing here, there's a domain, uh, uh, a semantic domain, right, that people are employing that are familiar with this, this thing that I'm just reading about. Uh, semantic domain, basically a, uh, a language, a unique language that only the group communicates with. We all do it. You go to a sporting event and you're shouting out words and phrases that say, my wife, like, what's that? What are you talking about? A pick six, right? My son scored a pick six. She's like, huh? That's a semantic, a semantic domain, a, a, a language range, range of meaning that is exclusive. It's like shorthand for a community. And so this John Beasley, I don't understand what he's talking about. I don't, I do not understand. They're English words, but I do not understand. Let me read it again. We need to add that Q was all about symbols, both those used by our masters and those available to the resistance. The masters adopt the language and symbols of the resistance as, for example, calling themselves the resistance to Trump. I have no idea what those sentences mean. All saw it coming. Exactly. Uh, responding to uh, Miss Griffith. All, uh, 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 exactly, nothing but fact-finding to expose the truth, nothing at all that the mainstream media, the left, and deep state has made it out to be. And then the last comment on Miss Griffith's comment, Auber there says, to at Captain, which was earlier the all-caps one, Q has been reported as a computer geek who doesn't work for any of the government departments. You have been misled. All right, there you have, I mean, I'm going to read some more comments, but this is the second to the top comment. A bunch of people with bingos and thumbs up and other comments within there that people are, so that's the problem with information. Which of these rings true? Some of these make sense, but I don't know, right? I don't, I don't know which ones are, it's, it's part and parcel of the problem. Like, uh, that's why I say stay away. And I mostly say stay away because... I don't mean I don't mean stay away from research, right? In that same video where I said stay away, I said you should watch multiple sources, right? I said, you know, I said CNN was just as complicit in conspiracy theories as QAnon or whatever, right? There's conspiracy theories all over the place, and that's why you need to read multiple sources. And here I'm just getting it from I I, I have some great subs, some great uh, followers. Or, or people interested in what I have to say and interested in commenting. And I benefit. I get a lot out of when I'm able to spend time to read comments. So I'm actually getting a lot out of this. I don't know that I'm any closer on knowing the facts, but at least I know what people are saying. And some of it seems to make sense. Clay Huggle. I don't know, but they sure are right. They sure were right early on about a lot of things. And that's a good point. You can be right. <sighs> Okay, I'm going to make an extreme example here. Everybody has the capacity to speak truth and be right. The problem is when someone is elevated to, it's essentially deified that everything they say is right or seen as right. And, and then they, maybe they themselves uh, 
find power in that and and abuse that power um, and say things as being right that they are only guessing at. Um, so here's the extreme example. The propaganda minister Goebbels, who was complicit in the massacre of a whole lot of people, made true statements. And one of his true statements, and it was true, and it is true to this day, and it is used to this day, repeat a lie often enough, and it becomes the truth. Uh, all right. Let's just keep reading. I, I'm talking too much. This is going to be a long, much longer video just for the fun of it. Q is Q. Anon, oh, Q is Q. Anons are the people researching on the board. Hence, there is a there is no Q anon. It's Q and the anons. By the way, and, and that was very helpful and informational if that's true. By the way, General Flynn wears a WWG1 WGA bracelet and is surrounded by anons. Think about that. Well, I like uh, General Flynn. I don't know if that'll get me in trouble here, but uh, uh, I believe that guy's a Christian. I mean, I, I obviously don't agree with everything he says because I don't agree with everything anyone says. It's impossible for us to all be in agreement on everything. I couldn't point out anything that he said that I disagree with. I'm just saying I know that I don't agree with everything he says, but I believe he's a godly Christian man, and I think he should be in a position of, well, I think he should have had his job. Let's just say that. Uh, Cap uh, oh, Days of Elijah. Oh, that's that was Days of Elijah that just said that. Sorry about General Flynn. Uh, response to Days of Elijah. Cap Captain Trump has drawn the Q sign with his hand on many occasions. I don't know what the Q sign is. I don't know if it's okay. So I'm doing it once at the July 4th, 2020 Lincoln Memorial Rally as the fighter jets flew over. People who follow Q are called anons. Loki Days. WWG1 WGA. Uh, days of, okay, I'm going to skip all the comments on the comments. I'm just going to read the main comments. That was when it has 16 replies. Uh, main comment. Uh, Mona Bale, Q started the ball rolling, made people think. Fullinger says, Q is the opposite of indoctrination. It neither expects or insists and certainly does not force an agenda. I'm certainly no expert on the matter, but from my own experience, Q offers a choice of information for you to do with what you will. Assistant says, a person either wants to think for themselves or let someone else run their life. You must choose. Yeah. Well, that's a true statement right there. <laughs> think for yourselves or let someone else run their life. You must choose. Uh, I don't know if that's a theme with the Q thing. Uh, it should be a theme with all of us. <laughs> uh, Kate Miller, I'm so grateful for the answers. Had no clue. LOL. Right. I'm doing a public service here for anybody who wants to chime in or pop in here. Gilberto Gonzalez. Hola, mi, hola amigo. The, uh, the confirmation that the book of Revelation is in fact a revelation for second coming is that it also confirmed in the Urantia book that it was given to John on the island of Patmos. We will see it come to pass. Endurance of the saints is going to be tested. Pray. Shane McCann. I love that your clip is 17 seconds. What clip? Was the question only 17 seconds? Was it that short? Of <laughs> because of the 17, like the, I guess the general, it's, I don't know. Again, there's this domain range. You know, the number 17 has some meaning to people. Some people, I don't know. John Cicero, irrelevant. Though a lot of the stuff seems coded and time dated as if they somehow knew the future, Q Anon, however, seems to be a different group, but still uses Q's posts under, oh, still uses Q's posts, another word, posts, another word, not the real Q. Oh, I think he meant in other words, not the real Q. Do not get too hung up on it, but if the things come to pass and the corruption is dealt with, it would be good, right? Okay, I'm going to finish this comment, but that's a good point. So a lot of the things are, you know, justice is coming, justice is coming. Whenever justice does come, anybody that saw a prediction of justice coming is going to say, see, this is a confirmation that the predictions were true. Right? Well, I think justice is coming anyway, and I I really don't know any of the predictions of Q. So, uh, <clears throat> uh 
If things come to pass and corruption is dealt with, it would be good, right? Or at worst, is it's a, P- a psyop to get the people thinking someone's got their back when no one does. I would say fo- I would stay focused on what you have been doing. It takes a lot of time and focus to dig through Q stuff, and you have been doing good on actual events and the like. If Q is true, then he needs then he needs you to get the word out. If Q is fake, then we really need you doing what you're doing to get the word out. Oh, hence I say for you, irrelevant. But perhaps one is real and one is fake. Oh, and I'm going to finish on that note. Thank you, John Cicero. This has been a public service announcement. God bless you all.